Hey guys, it's Tiffany. I'm so excited to film today. It feels like it's been a million years. So today I have zero plan. Today is gonna to be all about feeling into my body. My left hip is bugging me, so we're gonna work on some hip openers. And then maybe I'll film a second video too. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Let's grab your mat and get started. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad you're here to be practicing with me today. I'm super excited. It's been a minute since I've been like filming or doing anything. I've been so focused on some other things. Um, if you haven't already, go check out my podcast, The Fat Yogi, because it's amazing. I do these interviews with these people who just are fat and they practice yoga and they give so much like advice. So go do that because that's just awesome. So all right, let's get started on top of the mat. Um, as we stand here on the top of our mats, some of the things you might want to think about, and you can close your eyes to do this, is let's think about a grounding feeling in our feet, in the palms of our feet, pressing into the earth, creating that amazing, just <laughs> creating that grounding feeling that we all want. Let's take a deep breath together, and exhale, just let it all out. Oh, you can wiggle, you can shimmy your shoulders, maybe work your neck out a little bit, and let's just come into some organic movement here. You have a really good grounding feeling, maybe you raise your arms above your head, don't worry if your shirt isn't covering your belly like mine isn't. <laughs> Just move here. One of the things my daughter has started doing recently is shimmying her shoulders when she says no. So when I say, Juliana, will you, do you want this? She goes, she doesn't shake her head, she shimmies. And I just, I hope she does that for her entire life. I know she won't. But it's just so cute to watch it right now. Let's work into some side stretches. So stretch from one side and the other. Oh God, that feels good. Oh yeah, we're gonna get into some hip movement, but I love to stretch my shoulders out. I just feel like we just hold so much tension in our shoulders. Every single day we are just constantly just working so hard against ourselves. Let's take our arms and just kind of hug ourselves and try to grab for our shoulder blades behind us and really lean forward, engage your core, press into the earth, engage your core and lean forward, round down. Let's round all the way down like a forward fold. Maybe your belly is pressing against your thighs Try to relax your neck here. It's hard because of the arms. If this is too much, you can always take your arms to the ground. And breathe here. Let's come into a yoga breath. What's a yoga breath? <laughs> and then let's rise all the way back up. And come into our heart center. And close our eyes for just a moment. And let's tap into the yoga breath. So when we're talking about yoga breath, we mean slowing down our breathing and taking the time to consciously breathe a little bit slower. And typically you count to three or four. So breathing in for three, breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three. So taking the extra step to release all the way. And breathe in deeply and release. And breathe in again. And release. Taking the time to do this is so important helps you get into a flow state, which is helpful for yoga. So let's breathe in again. 
and circle your arms to the sky. And then forward fold all the way back down. And halfway lift, which just means a flat back. Engage your core here and let's hold here for just a moment to feel into our halfway lift. Engage our core, relax our neck, and making that L shape. So come starting from the legs and then going out. Just trying to your upper body being parallel with the earth. Digging into your feet, your waist and your toes. You should feel some stretching in the back of your legs. And then let's all the way forward fold, all the way down. You should feel a deeper stretch on this forward fold. And then inhale as we rise all the way to the top. Those are halfway lifts. I mean, those are half sun salutations. So let's do a full sun salutation. Inhale, circle your arms all the way to the sky. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands all the way down, palms to the earth, and push your legs to the back. Stay up on your toes or bend your knees and slow lower all the way down. Here, you'll be on the ground, belly on the ground. Your shoulders are rolled back. Your arms are right next to your chest, your hands are and press into the ground and just look, keep looking down. You're gonna raise your chest, not brunch your neck. So looking up like this doesn't help you. What you're going for is to just get, get that gentle lengthening in your spine and then exhale all the way down, relax. Take your hands in right in front of your head and just shimmy out your hips for a moment. Shimmy, shimmy. Take your hands back and push into position. Upward facing dog. And then exhale all the way back down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, all the way back down. Now, bend knees and come back up into plank. And roll over toes. And find downward facing dog. Ugh. Shoulders away from ears. Let's have our knees bent and looking for that long spine, that natural spine. You can really find it when your knees are bent. And take one more deep breath here. And exhale, walk your hands to the front of your mat as far as you can get them. Now this might happen to you. Ugh. Not all the way. You can take your hand and just help it to the front. And then move your other foot. To the front. Oh, <laughs> halfway lift and then all the way forward fold. And then inhale, we rise all the way to the top. Okay, let's get into it. Circle your arms to the top, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, lift, exhale all the way down. Bend your knees a lot and plant your hands and your feet all the way back. Slow lower all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, child's pose for just a moment. And breathe. You can remain in child's pose for as long as you'd like. If you're finding this practice to be hard, or you can't find your breath, you're not breathing right, it's totally fine. Take a moment, get back down into your child's pose. If heroes pose, like how I'm sitting right now, just knee right on my heels and my feet with my knees in front of me, that's fine too. Find whatever position works for you and just sit in it for a minute. Now let's come into downward facing dog. Our right leg is going to go to the sky and let's pull it through. I like to set my back knee down, take my right leg to the front, and since we're on our knees, let's stay here and let's stretch out our hips. This is my favorite flow right here, this one, where it's a low lunge and you're moving forward. Now, if your back knee is bothering you, always put a pillow or double up on your mat. And what do I mean by doubling up? You can just roll your mat over like this. 
So let's focus on our breath and being in this posture. And you can see my right foot is working hard to find balance. So go back to that first pose that we did at the beginning of the video where we were rooted into the earth and finding organic movement and feel the strength of your toes just digging into the earth right now. And you should feel a deep stretch here on this part of your leg. And my left hip is bugging me, so this feels amazing right now. My core is engaged, my right hand is on my knee, my left hand is on my left hip. And this is a comfortable position for me. If, my, if you need to be grabbing onto something right now, do it. The main goal here is to be stretching this hip. And having a little bit of leverage isn't gonna, you know, not give you the benefits of this pose. So just lean into the pose as much as you can. I'm finding that I'm, I have a little bit more room in the pose than when I first began. I just wanna stay in this pose all day. Okay, now lean back and let's find half splits. So with half splits, this leg isn't all the way straight, like locked out. It's a little bit bent, just a micro bend. My heel is digging into the earth, my toes are pointed to the sky. And I'm breathing here. My back can be arched or flat. So here's my flat back. Lean. So if I'm starting here, and I lean forward with my chest up, that's a flat back. Now, if I have a bend in my back, it goes like this. I'm not getting as much of a stretch even though it looks like it's deeper. Isn't that interesting? So it's not always about how the pose looks. It's also how the pose feels. So like, this might be a little bit too low for me even. I'm gonna hold on to my windowsill right here and just lean forward with my chest up and feel into my half split because it feels really good like this and this leg even though this my left hip is bothering me if i don't stretch my right the same way then my right hip will start bothering me because you're unbalanced and that's what's happening so lean forward if you can put one arm to the sky or keep them both down however it's feeling but let's lean forward in that low lunge, engaging our core, looking up to the sky if you can. And then exhale, finding half splits. And you can see my arm is here on my windowsill the entire time. Find some balance somewhere. I want my yoga videos to be for everybody. Exhale, raise to the sky. Touching a wall and finding balance doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. And exhale, hand to the ground. And just feel onto the pose. Oh, God, this feels good. And then I inhale, arms to the sky. And exhale, back to half splits for the last one. Oh. Oh, this one feels the deepest. How does this feel for you compared to your first one? Let's think about that. Now, take your right hand and kind of put it in the middle and scooch your leg back. And let's just sit on our heels for a moment and be like, we just did that. <laughs> oh, my leg and my back feels very stretched out. Plant our hands, come up into downward facing dog. Lift our left leg to the sky and bring it through. Set that back knee down. Take that front foot to the front. And let's find low lunge on our left side. So this is the side that's bothering me. And I'm saying this because you might have a side that's bothering you too. And these are just some moves and flows that are helping me and I know that has helped me in the past, so I'm hoping that pointing out that my hip has been bugging me can kind of help you as well, if your hips are bugging you. Inhale, exhale. Keep your core engaged here. Really focus on that. Let's bring our focus to our core right this second. Focus on our core. Engage and breathe in. And breathe out. Focus, 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 core, core, core. I felt like I stayed here forever on the last side, so I 
I just want to stay here for an extra second. Then lean back. Oh. Slow, 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 slow. Snail speed here. Slow, slow, slow. And then not bending your, your leg all the way forward. Just a slight bend. And remember, let's keep our core engaged. Hand on the wall or something to give you some some leverage, and then chest is lifted as you slow lower down. Stop where you feel your edge. What does your edge feel like? It's like the line between pain and stretching. If I was to go any further right now, it would hurt. This is my edge. I am good with it. My left hip is bugging me, so I will stay here for a moment, stretch it out. Every night I've been working on some wide-legged forward folds. I've been working on different things just to stretch out my body. And I don't know if that's what's been bugging me. And let's come into low lunge. But just keep in mind that like your body is different every single day. So if you are feeling pain today, it doesn't mean that it has to stay there forever. It just means you have pain today. And that's what I try to remind myself. And let's lean back into half splits. Really feeling into that hip, and let's stay here for an extra moment just because I feel like I need it. If you are cringing and making a face right now, back up. You need to back up just a smidge. Take it to your edge. That's how you can tell if you've crossed the line. If you are cringing, argh, argh, just because you're holding the pose means that it's too deep. Should let your body just kind of open up. Okay, now let's find a bit of a flow. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. However you want to flow. Okay, and then let's hold this last one for like an extra second. Oh, it's still really tight. Come over to the side, and let's just go into child's or hero's pose, whatever's comfortable for you. I've been finding myself coming into hero's pose more often. Um, I think hero's pose is great for me right now, just because I feel like I can breathe better when my head is up. <laughs> Okay, let's sit in here as opposed for just a moment. And take a deep breath in. And exhale. Another deep breath in. And exhale. Come up to all fours. And tuck your toes and come up into downward facing dog. And let's just move our heels back and forth and walk our dog a little bit. Focus on your shoulders away from ears and breathe here. Now take your right foot to the sky and bring it through. And you can set that back knee down and take your right leg to the front of your mat. Now, bring up your left leg and come out into that lunge shape with your, with your knee lifted. Now set your back leg down and take that front foot so that it's facing forward so that you're in a wide-legged stance. You can take your toes and kind of point them inward towards each other, kind of like a pigeon, pigeon-toed. And take a deep breath here. Reach from the sky. Breathe in. And then exhale as you come forward. Here in forward fold, let's just come up onto our fingertips, almost like a halfway lift. Engage your core and just feel into the pose. You're really just finding a little bit of balance and a little bit of playfulness. Let's bend our knees a little bit and just feel. Sit back and feel into your heels. Now feel into your toes. Which one works? 
Now bring your head a little bit closer to the ground. Palms on the ground. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And let's find that same playfulness. Bending our knees a lot, sitting back into our heels, and then leaning forward onto our toes. Do you feel the difference? Try to keep your knees with a little micro bend. A little, little, little. Come up halfway. Exhale, place your hands on your hips, and then come up all the way. Turn your right foot to the front of your mat and bring your left foot to meet your right. Be a little more graceful than me. Like maybe instead of like almost falling over, you, <laughs> you take a couple of steps and that's totally fine too. Circle your arms to the sky and forward fold. Halfway lift and then plant your hands on the ground. Come into Chaturanga, slow lower all the way down. Upward facing and downward facing. Take our left leg to the sky and bring it all the way through. And since my booty will be facing you, I'm going to flip and release so that my left leg is over here. Okay? So I'm going to do my little lunge on the other side. Setting my back leg down. Front leg down <laughs> for my wide-legged stance. And let's catch my breath. Just be present here. Pigeon toe your toes, bring them in. Inhale your arms up and exhale all the way down. Here. We'll come into that more lengthening posture where our head is reaching towards the ground. Exhale. Maybe you move your hands over to your right foot and you grab your right leg and lean forward. Maybe you take your hands to your left side and grab your left leg and lean forward. Find your way back to the middle if you went for your legs. And just lean a little bit more into your toes. Just find some openness in your hips. Come up halfway. And let's heel toe our feet into Malasana. Finding that yogic squat. So pressing into our thighs with our elbows. Our feet are planted on the ground in a yogic squat. This is a perfect prep pose for, for a crow or any of the arm balances. <sighs> Building that strength. Engage your core. Place your hands on the ground and let's find a forward fold. Oh. My hips are happier. How are your hips feeling? And let's just slow rise all the way to the sky. And circle our arms up and bring them back down. And let's just like thank our bodies right now. Because Finding that comfortable position, shake out your legs if you need to. Take your right hand to your heart, your left hand over your right. And let's just take a moment to center ourselves and to remind ourselves that we are amazing and that we deserve this moment for ourselves to practice yoga. Let's just stay here for a few moments. And I want to share something with you. I was 
going through my news feed and this person popped up and was saying, if you are feeling like completely drained, you have zero energy. It's because you're giving yourself to so many others. <clears throat> I know I'm guilty of this. And I know so many other women and men who are also guilty of this. So if you're sitting here and you're thinking, I have nothing left to give, even myself, even if you can't do yoga, take your hands over your heart and cover your heart. The thing is, is that your heart is light. And if you shine it to the world, you won't have anything left. And if you cover it like this, you are just kind of soaking up whatever energy you have to give. This can be done for 10 seconds. This can be done for 10 minutes. But like, if you need a moment to do this, do it. <sighs> Take a moment, you know, when you're feeling completely drained at the end of the day, maybe before you clock out or before you walk into your home, maybe before you go to bed, whatever, take a moment and like regenerate some of that energy because sleeping alone isn't enough. Like we need to pay attention to our hearts and our bodies and our minds and our souls and feel into it. Now let's find our tushies to the mat. <laughs> So bending your knees a lot, coming into a, oh, actually our backs to the mat. Oh, find your back to the mat, move your hair out of the way, a little hippie maybe. Okay, let's just windshield wiper our legs back and forth. We worked our hips so much. We need a little bit of some, some movement in our spine. And then when you move to the left, on one at a time, just hold it and breathe. If you're feeling like you want to go deeper, you can take your left foot and hook on your right knee, just creating that figure four. And just breathing here. Relax your neck. <laughs> I'm saying it because I'm not relaxing, but I need to. Relax my neck. Oh. Find that movement on the opposite side. So if you were settling on your left, you move your legs to your right, your knees to your right. And if you did that figure four, try it again on the other side, just to have a little bit of balance. If you try it and it's not in the cards for today, then it's not in the cards. Back off. That is okay. That is where you're at. It's amazing. There's just so many days where when I'm doing my personal practice, it's not in the cards for me. And now I'm just going to, or let's just move our knees back and forth really slowly with our breath, just like this. <laughs> like I'm on a kid's television show. Breathing in. And then exhale and then you slow the water. Breathing in, and exhale as you slow lower. And then find some stillness for a moment. Lengthen your legs out in front of you, and your arms beside you, and shovel your shoulders under your neck, or your shoulders under your back. <laughs> Find your back of your eyelids or just a soft gaze. And your final shavasana. In your final shavasana, I encourage you to relax your tongue, relax your forehead, 
Let me clench your jaw. Let's melt. As you come up, go ahead and wiggle up fingers and toes, circle arms and wrists. Take your arms above your head and just do a full body stretch if that feels good for you today. And then just bend your knees and move your hips over and come onto one side. Maybe stay there for a breath. Press up and into our seated position as we grunt. And I just want to tell you, my camera just like flaked out on me, but I just want to tell you that you're amazing. Thank you for practicing with me. I appreciate you and your time and your energy, and I hope that this practice helped you today. Namaste.